So, this is my kingdom. Come in and take a load off. I'll have a look at your wounds. This is quite a kingdom. Roll up your sleeves, sir. Help is at hand. Well, let's have a look. Hmm. Doesn't look too serious. Yeah, yeah, that's true. They looked a lot worse than they are. Hmm. Hold on a second. I'll clean it. There you go. It didn't even hurt. Thank you. It's me who should be thanking you. Would you care for a drink, Tom? Well, I could use a little whiskey, if you got it. Sure thing. This evening's getting interesting. Here you go, hero. So... Do you swing? What? Do you like dancing, music? I have a gramophone. Yeah, I like music. Are Salieri's men tough with everyone? Well, we try to be gentle with people sometimes. Some of you, maybe. But only a few. And are you one of Salieri's tough guys? Only sometimes. Well, I think you're a very good bad man. Oh, sometimes I'm even a very bad good man. Sarah was an angel. I had a lot of girls before that, but that was something different. Very different. It was clear to me that if I was going to spend the rest of my life with someone, it would be with her. Tip? You want a tip? I'll give you a tip. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Always the gentleman, <laughs> huh, Joey? Just get the fuck out of here hey, already. Hey, Gina, wanna come join me? Hey, I hope there's room for three in there. Come in. Hey, and now, nah, just wanted to say goodbye. You okay? Yeah. So. Actually, no. I ain't okay. Part of me wonders if any of this gonna even matter. We take out that motherfucker slim, and all I see is pain, ugliness in the world. Someone once told me that if all you look for in the world is evil, it's all you're ever gonna see. Truth is, Roxy Laveau, you are one of the brightest lights I have ever known. Don't let the world take that away from you.
dance with me. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't really did. Okay. Maybe just one. So, if I'm so bright, then what are you? I'm not sure I can answer that. You sell yourself too short. You do. You think all you got is brute force. But there'd be a light inside you too, Lincoln Clay. How you know that? Well, because you here dancing with me. Well, you gonna come in and take a load off, or what? I'm wondering when you'd invite me up. The bank's closed, Slugger. I'm just gonna patch you up, is all. Now go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit. Doesn't look too bad. You need something for the pain? No, I'm fine. You don't have to do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You want to pretend it? Don't go ask Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Compliments of the Don. Take another. All right, you gonna grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good, because I don't need the little old lady next door complaining at the super about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? Oh, it's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. They're right. You stitched up a lot of fellas. Just my father. I would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So one day she stabbed him with her knitting needle. Right through the hand. What for? Because she was an ugly, jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but it'll hold. The scar will be something to remember you by, if nothing else. <laughs> You're staying over. Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood pie-eyed. Not when them hoods are out looking for you anyways. Yeah, okay. You got an extra blanket or something? No. And the heat's out. There's a woman named Alma helps me out sometimes. Cuban, mean as fuck. She talked to us if she needs anything. 
Might be an easy way to bring in some extra money. Where's she at? At the warehouse. All right. You're him, aren't you? Lincoln Clay. Vito asked me to come see you. He wants our guys to do double the runs. Double the runs means double the chances of running into the Coast Guard. Well, I don't think I'm gonna be too much help dealing with them. So I will deal with those hijos de la gran puta. I need someone to keep the warehouses full, keep the money coming in. How much we talking? Enough to make it worth your troubles. You're gonna be hitting trucks for the contraband. Seems simple enough. I'll let you know when I get the first truck. You didn't just save his life, you know. You brought him back. The real Vito. What I mean is I haven't seen this Vito in a really long time. And I don't want him to go back to the way he was. You got something to say, Alma, just say it. What's gonna happen next? You need him? And you need us now. So you give Marcano the fucking he deserves. Is it back in the freezer again? Would you believe me if I say no? No. I don't think so. But I believe very few people these days. And if Vito say this is the way things are, that's how they are. If you see any of Greco's men out there, you should deal with them. It will make it easier for us to conduct business. I got my hands on prime shipments out there. Go bust up some heads and bring it back here. I'll take it from there. <clears throat> we just had a lifetime of people fucking him over. You're not gonna be another one, are you? Remember, if we want to keep this little operation going, you gotta keep those warehouses full. We're gonna get 3,000 pounds of yams. You know what, don't worry about it. He's dead, isn't he? Vito. You need to know I never lied to him. He came after me. When it comes to trust, you're both fucking assholes. You for whatever bullshit you're going through, Vito and I kind of taking a mountain of shit back in Empire Bay. All because he was a good little soldier. And that's before whatever happened to that friend of his. Como se llama? <laughs> Fucking Joe. Vito used to say the two of them always did what they were told. Didn't stop Joe from getting caught to little bits by his own goddamn people. So what happens now? Do what you're doing and keep the money coming. I can live with that. Poor fucking Vito. Remember, if we want to keep this little operation going, you gotta keep those warehouses full.
place Heart seen dark Silvery moon is shining through the trees Cast to me you Sound of kisses floating on the breeze Act one 